Hey guys, it's David from mdbootstrap.com and in this video I'm gonna show you 6 CSS tricks which you probably didn't know. And if you happen to know all of them, let me know in the comments. So the first trick I'm gonna show you is how to add a stroke to our text using CSS. If you don't know how stroke effect looks like, let me show you. Let's add some style to our heading. So first we're gonna make our text transparent. And you can see that this um, property is crossed out because it's experimental. So, um, well, it may behave differently depending on a browser. So you should be very um, careful while using this one. And now let's add stroke to our, uh, to our text. So I'm gonna use WebKit text stroke and let's add this let's say violet color uh, and let's define its size to one pixel okay now what we have to do is just add some heading and generate some text to it and let's see how it looks now voila our text stroke is ready you probably know that you can add or generate gradients using CSS. But did you know that you can apply this even to text like headings? Let's have a look. Let's set a background to linear gradient. I prepare two colors. Okay, and now let's add Okay, and now we have to add our heading And let's see what the result is. So as you can see, we've got really nice blue to purple gradient. Next interesting property to know is clamps. This property allows us to hide a text after a certain number of lines. So let's have a look how it works. Let's create a new class for paragraph. We're gonna call it shortend and we're gonna use display. WebKit box and we're gonna set WebKit line clamp and we're gonna set it to one for a second. Now we also have to set WebKit box orient property to vertical and overflow to hidden. And now let's add some div um, and set it width to, let's say, 200 pixels so we can um, easily overlap our text and let's add some, some content. So we're going to have a div and paragraph inside it and let's generate some text, let's say 50 lorem words and let's have a look how it works. So, as you can see, after the first line, remaining text just disappears. And once we change this line number to, let's say, 3, we're going to see more text. You probably know that you can adjust your underlines as well as borders using properties like dots, uh, changing its color, like you can see here, or dashes. But did you know that you can also use, uh, for example, wave? Let's have a look at this. Let's add new class. Let's go. We're going to call it wavy and set text decoration to underline wavy violet. And now let's add some content. Uh, 
and let's have a look. So here is our wavy underline. Sometimes, especially when you are writing a blog, you might stumble upon a situation where you have to quote inside the quote. So, you know, you are quoting someone who is quoting someone else who said something. So using CSS, you can define a different style for nested quotation. Let's have a look. So in order to define quotes in paragraph, for example, we can do it like this. So I'll say quotes and we can define a different pair of quotes. So I'm going to use this sign for first level of quotes. Let me add some spaces here. Okay, now we're going to add next level and the third level. So I'm just going to copy paste that one. And now let's have a look at the example. So inside our paragraph, we're going to add some quote, let's say, and then another quote inside it. And then some even more nested quotes. So let's have a look how it works. So as you can see, this is our first level quote, the sign, then we have double quotes, and this is our third level of quotation, right? So first, second, and a third one. And finally, last CSS trick which I have for you will help you or your user to disclose a file format of links or attachments. So I have this icon of PDF over here. And what we can do, what we're going to do, we're going to use attribute selector. And we're going to look for each link which ends with PDF extension. And what we want to do, we want to add pseudo class. So what we will add after each link, it's going to be a new URL to our icon. Now let me fix typo. And now let's add some link over here. And let's have a look how it works. So as you can see, CSS automatically adds this icon to each and every link which targets and PDF file. Okay, so that was the list of CSS tricks which most probably you didn't know. And if you knew them, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.